Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about what is monology, triology, tetralogy, and pentology of fallow. So as we all are very much aware of tetralogy of fallow, which is a congenital heart defect, which has majorly four anatomical components. So that's why it is called as tetralogy of fallow. So the main defect in it is anterior malalignment of ventricular septal defect. So what happens in tetralogy of fallow is that the, there is malalignment of this uh, septal defect. Uh, this is interventricular septum. There is malalignment of this infundibular part of septum. This septum moves anteriorly and thus it can cause pulmonary stenosis. It can block the RVOT and can cause pulmonary stenosis. Whenever there is a blockage of this pulmonary stenosis, because this right ventricle has to work more to pump blood against this stenosis and thus leads to right ventricle, right ventricle hypertrophy. And also because of this movement of the septum through that, there is overriding of iota. So four components of tetralogy of fallow, as you are all aware, that is ventricular septal defect, override of iota, variable degree of pulmonary stenosis, which can be either valvular, subvalvular or supravalvular and right ventricular hypertrophy. So these are tetralogy of fallow, which we are much aware of. Now let's go through one of one other uh, fallows one by one. What is monology of fallow? Monology of fallow is nothing but it is the basic principle because of which the tetralogy of fallow occurs. That is, as I have as I have already told you, the main pathophysiology in uh, ventricular septal defect is because of the anterior and cephalad deviation of infundibular septum. So anterior and cephalad deviation of infundibular septum will lead to, will, so you can see here, anterior and cephalad portion and can lead to pulmonary, obstruct the pulmonary uh, artery and thus leading to pulmonary stenosis here. So that is, this single uh, pathophysiology is called as monology of fallow. What is trilogy of fallow? Trilogy of fallow is nothing but it includes three components as the name says tri. One is atrial septal defect, pulmonary stenosis and the right ventricular hypertrophy. So, right ventricular hypertrophy, AST, atrial septal defect, and the pulmonary stenosis. Pentology of fallow is nothing but it contains the components of all tetralogy of fallow. That is, all the four components of tetralogy of fallow. That is, right ventricular hypertrophy, pulmonary stenosis, uh, ventricular septal defect, and overriding of iota. Along with it, if atrial septal defect is present, it is called as pentology of fallow. Hope you have liked my video. Uh, if you want more videos like this, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Big. If you have any queries, you can test it in my comment box. Thank you.